Hello and welcome to Chuffin Trains. Continuing with the Hornby engines in the Thomas the Tank range, today I thought we could take a look at Hornby Spencer. R9749 from 2012. It was a limited production run of 1000 and reintroduced Spencer to the Hornby Thomas range following the 2008 model that had been discontinued. Several of my videos have featured a single engine on the track, however today I thought I would also run Gordon along with Spencer to keep him company. Firstly we can take a quick look at Spencer and then we can have a running session with both locos pulling Hornby Pullman coaches with lit table lamps. Hornby Spencer. He is based on the LNER Class A4 Pacific such as Mallard and Bitten. It is DCC ready and is loco driven. I fitted a DCC Concepts DCC S4S AX decoder but I haven't actually fitted a stay alive to this model. I found the DCC Concepts decoders for locos and their accessory decoders for point motors to be very good and extremely reliable. There isn't too much detail to him, but despite this, I still think he's a great model. If I spin him round, get him into let's have a look. So the handrail is very nicely done and on this version it's black whereas I believe on the earlier 2008 model it was silver however I do not currently own that version he has sprung buffers if I spin him round so yeah you've got these sprung buffers there on the front and if we bring him round to see his, his face there we go look at that cheeky chappy zoom in slightly his profile and I do think he's got a very a very distinctive molded face so here I have brought in one of my other locos bitten so as I was saying earlier obviously Spencer is based on the the LNER class A4 Pacifics and I mean it may be a little harsh having Spencer next to a super detailed version of an A4 um, but I think it, it, it's sort of really good to actually show, show, show his profile and you can see that you know they've been pretty sympathetic um, to the actual models come around and yeah very distinctive and uh, yeah two very very classy models as quite often with, with the models, the actual sort of cab interior with the lighting, it's quite, it's quite difficult to, to capture on the video. But ho hopefully you can see that there's a little bit of moulded plastic in the cab, um, no painted detail, and with obviously many of the locos I, I do like to have a crew in there. Looking at the tender, it's fairly basic with nice paintwork and the black lining is applied well, with crisp straight lines and edges. Hornby take note with the latest Thomas releases, such as Edward and the quality of the finish. Compared to them, this is outstanding. When in fact it is simply applied as it should be. And that the sprung buffers um, come through onto the tender. Oh, not that actually. There we go. Um, I mean, there's a bit of red detailing, and obviously there's uh, some handrails. The coal's not there. Obviously, it's from, from sort of a railroad range um, and maybe one day I'll replace that with real coal it's one of the jobs I sometimes do um, on, on some of the tenders he will be pulling a rake of Hornby Pullmans on the track I have one here and this Pullman is named Portia and is R4476 a 12 wheel Pullman first class kitchen car 
we're going to see the detail. So here we go, portier with the side panelling and the, the little table lamps there, they actually light up on these, there's some pickups underneath. And as I said, this one is a 12 wheeler. You can see there with the, the six wheels at either end. And yeah, very nice Hornby carriages. So that was for Spencer, we'll be pulling. So if we move that one off to the left, and if we move one in from the right, so this one is Ibis. So Gordon, again, will be pulling Pullmans, and these will have white roofs, and there's, there's various different ones, but as I say, this one, this one is going to be Ibis, um, which came from a Hornby set depicting the Imperial Airways Empire service, and that was from our 2952. Going on to the Imperial Airways. There we go, there's Ibis. And um, Imperial Airways Empire Service. So that's what Gordon's going to be running with. All be Pullman's. Not wanting to be outshone by Spencer. Um, here's Gordon. He's the R9290. So he's the latest DCC ready um, incarnation of Gordon. I do intend to do a separate video covering three editions of Gordon. Uh, the R383 original, which was made in the United Kingdom. Then compare that to a later R383 that was made in China because there are some differences with the paintwork, and then look at this latest R9290, which has got a lighter paintwork, and as I said, is, is DCC ready. But before we head to the track, I think we'll take one last look at Spencer. Sorry, Gordon. I said at the start of the video that there's not much detail to the model, and I think that this actually helps to keep Spencer nice and clean, with the great profile, and it keeps him nicely streamlined. And as he keeps telling us, he is a fast engine. All in all, a really good effort from Hornby. And one day I hope they bring him back into the range. As going on prices on eBay, there is demand. I hope you're listening, Hornby. But from me, and from him, let's get on the rails. So come on then, Spencer. So, here's Spencer on the track. I just wanted to do a, a little performance. If we, if we put a little bit of power on, you'll see he's ever so smooth. He's like, as I said, he's loco driven. He's got a nice decoder in there. Nice, nice slow motion. To be fair, I haven't actually cleaned the track, and he really could do with a service. I think you'll probably hear a bit later on when he gets going. He, he is a little bit ring rusty, but I mean, yeah, wow. you can see there that's lovely, nice and smooth going forward. He really is a terrific engine in the range. And again, if we, we'll just see him going backwards. Oh no. Nice and slowly, there he goes. Right, he really does have great character. I do like running him on the railway. 